when i push this toy car it moves ahead and stops after some time but how you define its motion we need to discuss three physical quantities associated with motion these physical quantities are position velocity and force position is the measure of car's location we can say that car's position is 1 meter in front of the house you will notice that i used three things first is this reference point house second is the distance from the house and third the direction from that reference point in front of if we leave out any of these three aspects of position the reference point the distance and direction from that reference point we cannot describe its position let me show you what will happen if i remove this house from the scene will you be able to tell the position of the car no house our reference point is required let's keep it back how about distance if i move the car here or there it is still in front of the house i need distance to specify its exact position how about not specifying direction car can be at 1 meter distance to the left side of the house or to the right side of the house so in a nutshell you need all three position is a distance and direction from the reference point you are probably familiar with physical quantities that have just an amount like the temperature of this room or the duration of a cricket match or the size of your shoes but there are many physical quantities that have both an amount and direction these are called vector quantities if you leave out the direction part of vector quantity you have not specified the whole thing we measure position in units of distance physicists normally use the si or system international of units si units of distance is the meter when an object is moving it has a velocity that's not zero velocity measures the rate at which an object's position is changing with time velocity is a vector quantity it has an amount and a direction the amount of your velocity is the speed at which you are traveling and the direction of your velocity is the direction in which you are heading rohit is standing on the ground right now his velocity is zero he is about to develop a velocity to your left he is now moving towards the left and his velocity is maybe 15 cm per second to the left that's different from this velocity now he is moving about 15 cm per second towards your right that's a different velocity even though his speed is the same as you can see velocity has an amount which we call speed in this case and a direction the direction in which he is heading and if you don't specify both of them in specifying his velocity for example you have left out some important information you haven't fully specified his velocity we measure velocity in units of distance per time the si unit of velocity is the meter per second summary we discussed about position speed and velocity position is a distance and direction from the reference point speed is the distance traversed by a body in unit time velocity is the distance traversed by a body in a specific direction in unit time activity with the help of timer from your mobile phone calculate speed and velocity of everyday objects like cycle car or train